Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to take a look at backing up your Logic application. So if you're not aware yet, a new version of Logic is out at the moment. If you're watching this in the future, well, you already know Logic 10.5 is out. And hell, who knows what version we're up to by the time you're watching this, if this is the future. Anyway, so if you're concerned about maybe there's some accessibility bugs or something that's going to stop you from using Logic and you want to be able to revert back to your old version, we're going to get into how to do that today. So I'm going to jump into my application folder. I'm on my desktop right now. I'm going to hit Command Shift A to open my application folder. Applications. Now in applications window. And I'm just going to start typing Logic to jump to it. Launch with Logic Pro 10 app application. And there we go. We got Logic Pro 10. So I'm going to right click on this and duplicate it. Menu. Nine open. Show path. Move to get in. Rename. Compress lock. Duplicate. Press duplicate. Column view. Browser one item selected. Logic Pro 10 app. Now in. Copy. Window. Stop progress. Button. And you can right click on it with VO Shift M. And that's what I did to get that context menu to select duplicate. Stop duplicating. Stop progress. Button. All right. It's copying the application file. So once this is done, I will rename it so that I know what version of Logic it is. And then that makes it safe for us to go ahead and do the update to the new version of Logic. And I may very well just cut out some of this and fast forward through this so that you don't have to wait for this duplication process to be done. Now in applications, window, column view, browser one item selected, Logic Pro 10 copy app, Groot, 40 of 91. All right, so I'm going to hit return on this and just rename this to Logic Pro 1048 for version 1048. Logic Pro 10 copy app, Logic Pro selection repo, oh. G I C, Logic P R O Pro 1048. Applications, window, column view, browser one item selected, Logic Pro 1048 app, group 40 of 91. All right, so now we have two copies of the Logic Pro app in our application folder. Launch for that, Applica Logic Pro 1048 app, application. So that's Logic Pro 1048, which is the one I just renamed. Logic Pro 10 app, application. And that's the default Logic Pro 10 app. And so what's going to happen now is when I go into the app store to update it, it's going to update this Logic Pro 10 app version which means I still have the old Logic Pro 1048 version in my application folder as well. And I can run either or. Another thing you can do is Logic Pro 1048 app, application. Select this version and copy it. Copy Logic Pro 1048 app. And throw it on an external drive as well so that you can, you don't have to have both of them in your application folder if you don't want them both there or if you have like a smaller internal drive and you don't want two versions of Logic taking up space on your internal drive. Now I'm gonna launch the App Store and update Logic as per usual. 